Shalom and welcome to Two Minutes of Torah. This year is entitled, How Does Beitin Assess the Damage of One Who Steals a Mitzvah from Me? So we saw in the previous year, uh, you have to cut down my tree, it's damaging the uh, people walking by. I have to go ahead and kill my animal, it's damaging people. Basically, so I have to get rid of it. And someone goes and does the mitzvah before me. They kill the animal, they they, they cut down the tree. So that was my mitzvah I was about to do. So the... Uh, Second sheet is said there's a set standard amount, 10 zuvim, 10 gold pieces. But the first opinion is that the basin assesses the damage. What does it mean they assess the damage? What's said assess? How does that work? Amazing commentary by the Sma. He says, near it, what does it mean they assess it and they have to decide how much? This person who lost the mitzvah, who is this a person who's always careful about every mitzvah? As you can sue him, then they're going to give a big kanas to the one who stole the mitzvah. That's so careful about mitzvahs. He goes down. He doesn't go to put something to his foot on filling. He goes to learn. He doesn't go to learn. So that that's going to be a lesser penalty because he didn't steal something so valuable to him. Or another fact, he sharu betircha. It could be it was a simple mitzvah. And he was so excited to do it, and you stole that from me. Another thing was, oh my gosh, it was going to be a huge undertaking. I was going to have to go ahead and get some uh, contract to dig down my tree, and he, uh, he was hesitating himself. Someone did it for me, it would be less damage. So the SMA says that the Diana have to assess situation of what the value is for that person whose the mitzvah was taken away from. Fascinating. Well, as we said, Shonach concludes that the, the mice, we don't do this anymore. So it's more of a theoretical shyness penalty, and we don't usually judge penalty cases anymore. Shalom.